Hey everyone, that guy here, and welcome back to some more Helltaker. So, after I did my first initial video completion of this game, I found out there was a secret ending. Now, I never looked, I, I just want to make this clear, I never looked at how to get the secret ending, I never looked at how to do anything related to the secret ending. I wanted to be able to figure it out myself, because what's the point in having a secret ending and having to do something different in the puzzles to solve it? So, I started recording the game. I might keep that footage at the beginning of this video, just so you know, like, I did just sort of go into this blind, started recording randomly, and I, I wasn't talking in any of that, so I'll, I'll just, I'll speed it up or whatever. But, I mean, obviously I wasn't talking, I just started talking now, because I found this. Now, what led me to finding this was... I, I went back through the first couple levels, as you'll see, sped up, and nothing was out of place, everything was normal. And then I got to this level, and this one rock has the letter H engraved into it. As if it's trying to tell you, like, hint at you, this rock is different to all the others. So I, I spent a couple minutes trying to figure out how to get to this rock. This is obviously the setup I found. I've got to the rock, and when I kicked the rock, this thing came from underneath the rock. Now, as I already knew, you can th th things can be underneath the rocks, because you can kick the rocks on top of the keys. So I knew things could be hidden under them, and... Of course, the game developer has brilliantly hidden something underneath this rock that's been engraved with the letter H. So anyway, let's not waste more time, let's find out what this is, because I feel like this is linked to the secret ending that I've been reading about, I guess? I didn't really read about it, I just saw, like, after I uploaded my video, I saw, like, some other YouTube videos about Helltaker, and I saw secret ending, secret ending, and I was like, okay, there's a secret ending, maybe I can try and get it in one of my videos, without looking it up, so I'm completely blind on it, and I don't know what's gonna happen, so... Alright, Path Taker. Got a new achievement, because I've never found this before. Ancient Inscription. Piece of a ritual. Forbidden law. Undoubtedly. Alright then. Sorry, I was just double-checking my OBS make sure I definitely was recording this, because I didn't want to not be recording it, that'd be dumb. Alright. Oh, and then we can still get to the end of the level by kicking that and then going up. This is brilliant! So these levels that have a secret ending also have two ways to beat the level. Oh, that's brilliant. I love this. Because you wouldn't think to do the secret path. You'd always think, go for the key, get through the key door, not... This, this is great. Alright. So, I mean, we've already read through all this before. So, I'll just- I'll go through this bit quicker now, because I'm, I'm not gonna reread dialogue. If you want to hear me read through the story and stuff, go watch the first video. So is there any- ah, see, there's one with the letter N. Is that an N? I think that's an N. There's one with the letter N in this level, so... There's something I can do to get to that. Right. In fact, don't we still have to get the key? Oops. Yeah, don't we still have to get the key for this? But what- which block would I kick right now? That's the question. Hmm. We'll just kick that, and then... 
See, now I've got to figure out how to get up there. Uh, now I wasted a turn. See, and now I don't have enough turn. I need one more turn to do that. Okay. So there's something I... Oops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that mistake a couple times, I feel. Alright, so there's something I can do. Kick that, and then... Now do this. No, that still runs out of turns. Okay. I'll be back when I figure out how to get the extra piece here. I think I've got it. So if I do this, go up, kick that, hey, and then we get that ancient inscription for the ritual, and then we meet um, Zadrada. I, I don't know how to say her name. I'm just gonna say Z Zadrada. Yeah, and then all right. So we get to her, and then we say we have a feeling we'll regret it. She joins us. Brilliant, right? So I'll just speed up the bits where I'm not talking. I'll try and keep this all together as one video. Right, is there one here? I feel like that rock there, below the skeleton and above um, Azazel, I feel like that one. Because that's got an inscription on it, so we must have to hit that. So what did I do for this level? It was like there, here, do, do, do. Do. No, I feel like I did this wrong. Yeah, I definitely did this wrong. Rip. Alright. Now I've got to remember how I did the puzzle. Ah, wait, I did that, and then... That, and then... Now I still feel like I did this wrong. No, I didn't. But I don't have enough turns. I need one extra turn, so... There's something I've got to do differently to have one extra turn. Oh, wait, no. Wait, yes. Yes, there is something I'd have to do differently to have one extra turn. This is how I did it initially, because initially I didn't kick that rock and I just went straight down. That's why I had exactly zero turns when I reached here. Okay, so there's something I have to do that grants me one extra turn. So let's try and find that. It's gotta be related to these spikes that I'm going over. I mean, I kick that. I kick that again. I get the key. Huh. See, no matter what, I'm going to get hit at least once there. Now I've got to kill him. Hmm. And then I'm just back in the same situation, yeah. There's something I'm doing that I've got to do different. Alright, I, I might have a solution, or I might just be dumb. I'm. I'm both, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure on a solution. But this seems maybe to be the one. Yes, we did it. Alright, great. I actually got it. Next piece. I don't know how many pieces there are, but I'll get all of them, hopefully. And then we meet Azazel. And we say we're looking for demons, and she wants to join us. Brilliant. Alright, let's keep going. This is great, because it's like doing a new puzzle, kinda. Alright, I don't see any inscriptions in this level. I also don't remember how to do this level, though, so... I'll be back once I've done this level. Alright, 
Alright, got past that puzzle. You don't need to see me do it. There was nothing interesting. And yes, I, I realised I can just skip the puzzle in the menu, but my stubbornness forbids me from skipping the puzzles even though I've already done them because what's the point in just skipping it? And what if I do accidentally miss something? I don't think there's anything in this puzzle I have to do, right? Just go straight to Lucifer? We meet at last. No. Alright. I mean, if I failed to do the secret ending, then I'll just have to come back and try again. Oh, not this puzzle again. It took me ages to figure this out. doing the angel level. I think there's an achievement that I can get on this level. I think there's an achievement I can get. I'm not 100% sure on that. See, what's... How many ritual pieces are there? That's what I want to know. Looking for angels. You won't find many here. Lucky for you, I know a better place. Please hold my hand. Who would have no Who would have guessed that lying would would get you into heaven? Will get you into heaven? Say goodbye to your demon harem, though. Yay! Heaven taker achievement. I just wanted to get that on video. Not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, back to trying to figure out the secret ending is what I'm doing now. Alright, so we're at the end. I got all three ritual pieces, which I assume you need for the secret ending, but... How do I get said secret ending? I genuinely don't know. So... I might have to look it up. I mean, the only thing I can think of is it's related to this, right? Because, I mean... I mean, look, there's a, there, there, there's a satanic symbol in, on the carpet in the middle of my house. And the achievement that I assume you get for the secret ending, well, I mean, it's the only achievement I don't have, it's called Abyss Taker, I think. Yeah, I just double checked. The only achievement I don't have is called Abyss Taker, and... It has a... it has this symbol on the achievement, so I can only assume the secret ending is related to this. How I get said secret ending... I... do not know. This is annoying. I got this far and I don't know how to do it. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. I've got to Google the secret ending, I guess, because I, I actually don't know what to do from this point. Alright everyone, I'm back. I just Googled it and I'm actually a bit annoyed because I was really close to figuring this out because Surprisingly, these symbols in the pause menu are actually the solution. These symbols are meant to be arrows. 
Of course, their arrows for the direction I have to move. So, yeah, we're going to go move in these directions. So we've got to go down, up, right, up, left, down, down, left, up, down, right, up. I hope I read that correctly. But yeah, I was really close to figuring this out too. Like, I, I got most of the way to the secret ending on my own. I just, I couldn't put together this last bit of the puzzle. To be fair, puzzles are not my strong suit and ju just leaving something like this on the pause menu, it's not enough for me to realize, oh, this is the piece I'm missing to the puzzle. Like, I'm not that smart, so. Thank you to Google and all the people who figured this out already so that I'm able to do it now. All right, well, let's let's do this. Down, up, right, up, left, down, down, left, up, down, right, up. All right, there we go. We got the achievement, Abyss Taker, and I'm assuming this leads me to the secret end. Thank God I am recording. All right. It's Beelzebub, the great fly. What is this? Did someone open a portal at last? Greetings, little one. I am Beelzebub. And you must be the chosen one, the king of hell. That means I am nothing but your humble servant. Oh, and that's why he tells you the story of the Helltaker, because he is your servant and you, the player, are the king of hell. Brilliant. Love it. Enter this gateway and take your rightful throne. Hey, is this a one-way banishment portal? Fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute, goddammit. Beelzebub, you tried to trick me. It would have worked too if it wasn't for Lucifer. Here's me thinking I'm smart, like, oh yeah, the player is the king of hell. Nah, Beelzebub's just trying to trap me. Okay. Screw you, Beelzebub. Beal, and here I hoped I'd never see your face again. Feeling mutual, my dear Lucy. Old friend of yours? Don't believe a single word from Beelzebub, the exiled. Most dangerous kind of demon forever sealed inside the abyss. Ask Justice. She was the high prosecutor back then. It was awesome. Wish you'd seen that epic battle. If you, strip, if you step through the portal, your soul will get imprisoned too. Only madness waits for you there. I've been here for quite some time and found no madness yet. Quite disappointing, really. A bit of, a bit of mad would be refreshing. All you can find is darkness and loneliness. Ha! Huh, I already have that in real life because I'm a weeb. <laughs> uh... God damn it. Just ignore this pest. I'll close the portal after dinner. Okay, Satan. I'll get out one day. We'll be ready. Um. Yeet. <laughs> Into the portal I go anyway. <laughs> You find yourself surrounded by the void, shades of darkness you never knew existed. You feel them rather than see them. Sight is no longer a concept. Then you are suddenly sick with every illness known to man. God, that's gotta be terrible. Well, it's a good job I'm immune, because I have plot armor, am I right? But you are not dying. Death is no longer a concept either. See? Told you, plot armor perfect. You hear the buzzing, thousands of flies swarm around you. Then a cloying wave hits you. The sweet smell is overwhelming. Unbearable. Yet, over the years to come, you'll learn to love it. Hey, it's Beelzebub. What is it now? Wait, what? 
You. How did you... I simply can't believe you just did that. Have you really bought that King of Hell crap? No, that simply can't be it. So why? Wait, I don't think I really want to know. Since we find ourselves stuck here for the foreseeable future, I think a proper introduction should be made. I have many names. The Sovereign of Pestilence, the Warden of Decay, the Mistress of the Flies, the... Wait, where are my manners? I have a guest. I should make myself more presentable. Yo, since when was Beelzebub hot? Wait a goddamn minute. I just found the game's true best waifu. Probably not. Probably just stick to Lucifer and Judgment. They're my favourite too. Damn, I would have Judgment and Lucifer together at the same time. That That's the way to go. But then again, Cerberus was great as well. And so was the game again. God, they're all, they're all good. They're all so good. I love all of these demon girls. I can't just pick one or two. Here, I think you will find this form a little more comfortable to converse with. Where was I? Ah, yes. Also known as the Mistress of the Flies and the Queen Crimson. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Welcome to the Abyss. Make yourself at home. Here's an idea. I'll show you around my castle. I think you'll love what I did with the place. Why, yes, I've built it myself. You'd be surprised what kind of stuff can be made from the very fabric of darkness. Abyssal Exile makes you seek the weirdest hobbies. Hey, I just noticed. You brought something with you. If I knew you could do that, I'd ask for some sweets. Demons love sugar. Chocolate pancakes or chocolate pancakes. Hmm. Let's just give her chocolate pancakes. Yes. We got the Beelzebub in our harem. And that was the story of the Helltaker. Narrated for you by good old Beelzebub. Please forgive this little self-insert at the end. I know, I know, it was not supposed to be a story about me, but I just couldn't help myself. You may have questions, I assume. Had this really happened? Where is the Helltaker now? Maybe you are the Helltaker. You just forgot after all those years in the Abyss. Or maybe you don't even exist, and I'm just a poor old fly talking to herself. Ho oh, ho, for the sake of the story, some questions are better left unanswered. Until next, the end. Well, that was a brilliant ending. So, that was Helltaker, um, secret ending. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment, you know, do all that good stuff for me. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.